and they like to share bed together for three days for three nights go ahead hello mute youtube please mute youtube i just did okay hi christian prince i'm fine my friend go ahead good i was just calling to say thank you christian prince it's ironic because my name is abdul yeah and i accepted jesus as my lord and savior recently praise the lord praise the lord almighty and it came at the hands of uh, a very very good friend of mine and um your videos all right so you know, being you, so you mm -hmm. you uh, you uh, like you re you leave islam recently yes sir about a month ago oh wonderful what make you leave islam what's that what, what what is the reason made you leave Islam? Well, sir, I'll be honest with you. I was raised, um, I'm Palestinian right. and raised in a very, very devout Sunni family here in California. Okay. And um, I've always had questions. I've mm. always had lots and lots of questions. You know, mm. I, I was I was blessed enough to have gotten taught Arabic. I know how to read and write Arabic. And, you know, we were able to go into the texts, the original texts, and and understand some of this stuff. And it just didn't make sense to me. And, you know, the more I looked, the more, the more it was difficult to understand. There was too many inconsistencies. And there was really my biggest issue was the idea of personal liberty does not exist in Islam at all. It's a top-down system. It's a supremacist system. And that was my biggest concern, honestly. What about Not, what about the ethic of Muhammad? The, you know, there was a lot of stories that 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 were terrifyingly obscene to me. You know, growing up and hearing some of these stories, it was it was obscene. You know, especially you know the, the story of uh, you know the story of the I forgot the lady's name, but um, after the war in uh, I think it was Khaybar, um, you know, the Prophet raped somebody. Sophia, Sophia, and, yes allowed it and, there, yeah. and there's hadith that backs that up yeah. and you know the story of aisha you know how she was a little girl that stuff just didn't add up to me my brother but I, you know that was well, have, i don't know have you ever I, heard I okay you I, said you said you were watching my videos which one what which is the most ones like what have an effect on you showing you muhammad is must be a false prophet i'll be honest with you cp i've been watching probably for the last three weeks almost every day Okay. So there, it, there isn't really one specific video, but you know, being 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 someone who understands the language, you know, and, and I, I know you're you're you know, you speak the language, you read and write it. I've had, I've you know, I've pulled out the books as you were going through them, and it, you know, it's just you're able to connect all these, you know, seemingly random things and come up with this whole perspective that just resonated so much with me, CP. Mm -hmm. And the reason I called. Is because I wanted to say thank you. I really, really want to say thank you. You're welcome, my friend. And don't thank me. Thank the Lord who brought you and He showed you the truth, and the truth will set you free. Happy for you, my friend. I appreciate you, sir. Have a good one. Thank you, my friend. Good luck. Okay.